Making your own drum kits within GrooveAgent has been greatly simplified with its use of internal sampling. Let's take a quick look at how to configure this inside of Cubase. If I wanted to record audio directly into GrooveAgent, I could first click on Instrument, select Edit, and click on the Recorder. If I wanted to sample an external drum machine, what I could do is to define that as an external instrument by going to your studio menu, to audio connections, select external instruments, and you could add an external instrument, give it a name, and define the audio inputs of your audio interface where the audio outputs from the instrument are connected to. Once that's configured, it could be loaded up as an instrument track or as an instrument rack. And I have one set up directly here. Now what I need to do is to tell GrooveAgent to listen to the audio output from that external instrument for its sampling capabilities. So I'm gonna activate the sidechain input by clicking right here. Directly to the right, we could now define what the sidechain input is. You could also hold down the Alt or Option key and click there to get your sidechain input as well. Under the recorder options, we have two different tabs. You have a main and options. Here, under the options, we could define our folder that we want the samples to be recorded into. We could also have it defined and captured directly within the project folder. And we could have different naming schemes. So if I wanted to call this drum machine, and we could set different file naming conventions. So if I wanted to include the MIDI note, as well as the velocity that's been captured, we could have different components within our naming scheme. We could have our channel width be the source or mono, 16, 24, 32-bit floating point, various sample rates, as well as WAV or AIF files. Now when we go to the main tab, we have different options where if we wanted to single do single samples or if we wanted to do multiple samples, you'd probably want to click on Auto Next different mapping options for as played, fixed on a particular key, chromatic using only white keys or black keys, different start options for manual, audio threshold where you could define your threshold in DB. And I'm gonna choose to choose MIDI note on for my start and MIDI note off for the stop. And I want to just click on the record enable. At this point, I want to record enable both the source that I'm sampling and Groove Agent, so it will capture the MIDI data of the notes and velocities as we sample. So I will now hit the keys on my controller keyboard. If I want to do multiple velocities on the same key, and now we've created our own samples. If I wanted to do the same thing through a virtual instrument or a software, I could right click and we could quickly reset all the pads. Let's go to our sidechain input and I'm gonna select it now from a Halion Sonic SE where I have a different drum kit loaded up So we could do that and I'll just reset those really quickly. And if I want it to be more precise with my different sample editing to have my velocities evenly distributed, I just created a little part here where I could double click on the parts where I've broken down the velocities. So I just created eight notes and scaled the velocities, copied it, moved the pitch up. And what I want to do now 
is to take this particular track and I have this set as a MIDI track, go to my MIDI sends and I want to send this out to like a loop back. So on a Mac, you have the IAC driver bus. And if you're on Windows, you could download a free program, something like Loop MIDI. And now we'll go back. And I want to set the input from Groove Agent now to this loop back. So as I go to play back, We'll now take these eight notes here at varying velocity levels, and this will kind of automate the process for you. So I will just hit play. and we could just continue this process. In this way, the sampling can be almost automated. Now, once everything has been created, we can now look at your samples. You could have those automatically be set to velocity, random, round robin. And if I wanted to export and have this as a kit, I could just, again, right click on the agent itself, export the kit with the samples, give it a name, Save it to a particular folder. And then I could have my own drum kit sampled very easily and efficiently. So as you can see, creating your own kits using the internal sampling options of Groove Agent 5 can really speed up the process to come up with very creative results. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.